How to vacuum seal liquids using the USV32 chamber vacuum sealer. One of the most important things when vacuum sealing liquids is to ensure that your bag is no more than halfway full. This is going to make sure that your liquids don't overflow into the chamber when it's under vacuum. Another thing to remember is to make sure that your liquid that you're sealing is room temperature or cooler. If it's warm uh, from leftovers like a soup or a stew, um, that will create additional vapors and not allow you to get a really good vacuum on that product. So all you have to do is go ahead and lay the bag inside the chamber. As you can see, why you wouldn't want your bag to be more than halfway full is that liquid will start to approach the seal bar. So we're just going to tuck the opening of the bag underneath the black tabs over the seal bar, make sure it's nice and smooth. And then we'll go ahead, close our lid. We have our vacuum time set to 50, our seal time set to five, and all we have to do is press auto vacuum seal. As the chamber reaches a full vacuum, you'll notice that your liquid begins to uh, bubble or boil. Um, that's because we're removing the atmospheric pressure in the chamber, so we're lowering the uh, boiling point. It's not a cook boil, um, so it's completely normal and safe for your food. Um, another thing to remember is if you notice the the liquid start to approach the seal bar, you can go ahead and abort the vacuum process by either pressing cancel and you'll immediately cancel the vacuum on the chamber, or you can immediately press the seal button. It will go into seal mode and seal the bag and that will prevent those liquids from overflowing into the chamber. We were able to do a complete vacuum cycle. And as you can see, we've got a nice vacuum sealed bag ready for storage.